Five Street, what brands you need to know about, twin? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Mari, aka J Flex, and aka Jamari. Come back at y'all with another video. Now, today, man, how y'all boys doing, man? I hope everybody's doing great today, man. Yo, I'm trying to do this video before this rain start, bro. I don't know if y'all boys just heard this thunder, man. But what I got for y'all today is literally just a video about, you know what I'm saying? If you're trying to get into fashion, if you're new into fashion, or if you just want to open your arsenal of brands that to shop from, or not really brands, but sites like big corporations and stuff, like these are proven to be legit. Like, I'm not finna give y'all no, no, you know what I'm saying? You're not finna get scammed on none of these websites, you feel me? So, what I feel to do, man, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna put it on the screen, man. But without that being said, man, let's dive right into the video, man. Please rain, rain, go away, come on, get another. All right, man, so the first site that I'm gonna say, honestly, this one is kind of new to me, bro. Like, I wasn't really, like, paying attention to this website until now, man. But the first website I'm gonna tell y'all boys about is Zara, man. Now, I'm gonna put some stuff on the screen so y'all can see what they got, man. But they got a bunch of stuff. And it's really, like, if you into, like, more bag gear, like, formal clothing, and Zara is really the place for you, bro. And I'm definitely going to tap in and cop some of their pieces. But I think Zara is probably the only place on this list that I haven't actually shopped from. But I promise y'all boys, it, Zara is legit, man. Zara is not gonna scam you or none of that, man. I know people that order from Zara get their orders, and I heard it ship really quickly too. So definitely go tap in with Zara's, man, as y'all boys can see. But what I like about Zara mostly is their baggy pants, bro. That's what really like intrigued me to go and look what, what they got. I like their baggy pants, but they also have everything. They really got accessories. They got shoes. They got shirts. They got long sleeves. They got baggy pants. They got a couple skinny pants. They got cargos. They got cargo shorts. They have anything. So if you really into that like formal type of fashion, baggy type of fashion, you know what I'm saying, streetwear fashion, then go ahead and definitely tapping with Zara, man. I feel like they got some tough pieces. And let me know in the comments what's your favorite um website that I'm listening in this video. But I'm not really finna talk too much about Zara because I don't I don't have nothing to show y'all, man. But with that being said, let's go on to the next brand. I keep saying brand, I'm at website. But next up, man, I'ma say Boohoo Man. Now look, before you click or skip or whatever, bro, because I know everybody knows what Boohoo Man is, bro. A lot of y'all only know Boohoo Man for their jeans, bro. Now I know Boohoo Man got some hard jeans, you feel me? Or some of y'all are against Boohoo Man jeans because Boohoo Man is known for the ATL final boss pants, the skinny jeans. But I'm here to tell y'all boys, man. Boohoo Man has other shit on the, on the you know what I'm saying? Let me show y'all, bro. Now, the first piece I'm going to show y'all, man, I actually got this recently, and I feel like this is a hard cop. But as y'all boys can see, man, look at this varsity jacket, bro. Oh, my gosh. Let me give y'all close-up details. As y'all can see, everything is embroidered. This is embroidered right here. Embroidered. This is embroidered. You feel me? This, this is like carpet material, bro. And then you flip it. Oh, wait, no, not even. And then you got the stuff on the sides, man. Everything about this is just quality, man. Look at the details. It got the bar brighter. That's embroidered. You go back here. This feels like carpet back here, bro. Like, everything is good quality, bro. This is a very heavy. Look, listen. You can hear that, bro. This is a very heavy weight jacket. So let me show you how it looks too. Look, this is how it looks on me. It's a cropped varsity jacket. And this is a size medium on me. So as, as y'all can see, this is how medium fits. I recommend you size up. Whatever size you would normally get, size up. Because this shit is overly cropped. Like, it fits me perfect and I size up. So definitely size up if you want this, man. This is a varsity jacket from Movement. But this is just one of the versatile cops that I got on Movement. Let me show you the other one. All right, now this next cop, man. This is actually a wool check Harrington. Oh, and by the way, that Movement jacket, if y'all want to see me put it on and actually, like, show y'all how it fits and style it or whatever, go ahead and watch my fall clothing haul. Damn, I just voice cracked. Watch my fall clothing haul video. But as y'all boys can see, man. This is a wool check Harrington. It has like a collar where that you can open it up and shit if it's like cold or whatever, or if you're just trying to look studious. But as y'all can see, man, it's everything is wool, bro. This whole shit is wool, bro. Yeah, man, y'all see it, bro. It got buttons. It's a button up. You can unbutton it, whatever, man. Woo -woo. I actually did fit up with this, but I wore this with skinny jeans, bro. But this was before I switched the style up, man. But this is a wake up call, nigga. You can switch your style up too, bro. Just, you know what I'm saying? Open your arsenal with all these websites, man. Go shop. Go find some different shit, cuz. But this is the uh, second pickup now. This is the third pickup right here. This is just a regular tee, but it's oversized, man. It's an oversized crop tee. I cropped it myself, man. I cut it. But, you know what I'm saying? It's just a regular tee, you feel me? I just thought it was clean, you feel me? And this shit was very cheap. It was only like $12, you feel me? So, their shit is very affordable. But if you're looking for like quality, quality, then, you know what I'm saying? I would recommend shirts. I would recommend pants. Their pants are pretty good quality. Their shirts aren't so much, but they're not like silky or anything they're just on the less gsm side if you know what i mean so yeah and then the last thing from boo man is these atl final boss pants man oh my gosh bro i styled these pants in my recreating con iconic rappers outfit so if y'all want to see me put these shits on go ahead and watch that video to him but these are the wax leather pants bro and if you are gonna get any wax leather pants bro especially if they're skinny bro do not go true to size i repeat do not go true to size bro size up about two three sizes to it i'm not gonna lie bro y'all gonna see go ahead and watch my video that i just told y'all Go watch the recreating rappers iconic fits video. So yeah, that is for Boo Boo Man. And actually, this this hoodie that I got on is for Boo Boo Man too. As y'all can see, yeah, it got shot on the sleeve, it got shot on the front, it got shot on the back. 
everything is from Boohoo, man. So y'all boys go cop, man. Just a little quick break in the video, man. My bad if I'm, you know what I'm saying, I feel a little different, bro. I'm a little stressed out, man. School been kicking me in the ass. I got a math test tomorrow, bro. Other shit going on in my life. And my manufacturer is pissing me off, y'all boys, man. I'm just gonna vent to y'all mid-video. Cause if you are close. Damn, if you a clothing brand owner, you know, bro. Like, this man just is playing with me right now, bro. Look, let me just vent to y'all right quick. This is just something real quick. So imagine you pay your manufacturer almost $200 for two shirt samples, you feel me? It's good. Damn, this rain is starting, bro. I gotta, I might have to move y'all. But everything good, you feel me? You paying for the two shirt samples. You're using DTG print, the most expensive print that lasts forever. And then he gives you a cheap bulk price, bro. Then after he makes your sample and you pay him, he tells you, oh, nah, bro, the, the design's too big, bro. I'm gonna have to up the bulk price. So now you have to go from paying $20 for each shirt to almost $40 per shirt. He tells me this after I pay him for the sample, bro. This, this is what I'm going through right now before I made this video, bro. And this man just pissed me off, bro. I'm, I'm contemplating getting another manufacturer. I've been working with this man for over a year, bro. And this man is pissing me off, bro. I'm trying to drop some new clothes for y'all, man. But shit just don't go my way in life, man. But hey, God puts his toughest soldiers through the wait no god puts his tough strongest shoulder what god puts his stronger shoulders to the toughest battles yeah something like that yeah on to the next guy now next up bro we got grill now grill isn't a site but it's really an app and grill doesn't really just have specific clothes it has everything bro because grill is like a place where you can buy and sell shit but it's legit it's not like depop where your nigga gonna upload some balenci's and charge like $20 for them bitches, bro. Grilled actually has legit shit. It has an authenticity guarantee and everything on there is legit, bro. Now, of course, there's always risk. Like, you could buy clothes anywhere, bro. There's a risk of it being a replica, but everything I bought, like, look, let me show y'all, man. I bought my Balenci's off. Damn. I bought my Balenci's off Grilled. I actually wore them today. That's why they're so accessible. These are the LED Balenci's, by the way, so y'all can see. Let me go through the cycle right quick. Damn me, what? They, what? Y'all gonna say these reps too, bro? Oh my gosh. The 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 red was supposed to go before the green. The blue, the blue was supposed to be before the green. Man, shut up, bitch. I got these hoes off grill, man. And I paid $700 for these, man. Let me no. Wait, let me let me test out this new trick I learned. Let me see. Is it actually a focus? Cause look. Okay, but what if I wanted to focus only on the shoe? Is, is it working? Is it working? I, I don't know, but um, yeah, I paid $700 for these and these go for like $1,200. Well, at the time they did. So I got those and I got a bunch of other stuff too. But I also got this Palm Angels hoodie. I actually wore this yesterday, man. But this is a, a Palm Angels hoodie and it's pretty expensive. But I bought this for like $200 and it goes for like five, six hundred. So yeah, you see it's a broken Palm, Palm Angels hoodie. You see the drawstrings, man. Everything is embroidered, by the way, for all you dick around and get a little close up, man. But this is the hoodie and I got both of those off grilled, man. I'm telling y'all, grilled, if you want a cheap designer, ask your favorite fashion influencer. I guarantee that man got grilled, bro. Yeah, bro. I hope y'all are like signaling out all this thunder sounds and all that because it ain't going to get no, you know what I'm saying, quieter, man. But go tap in with grilled. I promise y'all I'm putting y'all boys on, man. I actually dedicated a whole video to grilled a long time ago. So y'all lucky I'm even putting this in the video because really I could just tell y'all, go watch that 10 minute long video of me talking about grilled. But hey, so next up, man, I've been advertising this a lot actually because this is really where I've been buying all my recent shit from, but minimal gang. I'm not gonna lie, minimal.la got that shit one. I'm not even gonna hold you. That's probably my favorite streetwear brand out right now. Cuz now look, I got these baggy denim right here. As y'all can see, man, these pants are so crazy, bro. It got a big ass rip on one of the knees, and then it has paint splatter all over, and they're ultra baggy, bro. These pants are so fucking hard, bro. And I think I got these on sale for like $40, bro. So I'm telling y'all boys, when minimal goes on sale, take advantage of that. Cause every every piece you buy on minimal bro you're paying minimum a hundred dollars for each so when these go on sale for like 40 bro you gotta get on this shit cuz so definitely get y'all some shit bro i got these i got these you feel me these are some worker cargo i mean worker denim pants you feel me like awesome like not baggy baggy jeans but they're not skinny jeans either you feel me but they're not slim jeans either you feel me it's like it's a mix man but i love these pants these are my favorite pants right now so i also got these pants and then i'm sure y'all see me wear these man i styled these in my uh back to school office video i'm pretty sure y'all can look in the thumbnails of all my videos until y'all see which one it is but yeah i styled these pants and these are also these are some carpenter pants and as y'all can see it got a little bit of paint splatter not really too much but it's also um um, you know I said the stress at the bottom. I didn't do that. It was already like that. So that's also pretty cool So yeah, when it comes to minimal, I feel like quality doesn't disappoint on minimal unlike boohoo But you know, I said both are really good brands for me But quality wise you get what you pay for you for me and that goes with anything y'all boys You get what you pay for so if, obviously if you're buying $10 shirts from boohoo man Of course, it's not gonna be the greatest quality, but it's still not silky and it's not the worst quality You're paying $12 for a shirt But if you're buying a $60 pair of jeans from minimal, of course the quality better be crazy shit I'm getting my refund for the last site I'm 
I'm gonna give y'all boys, and I'm gonna get put in this last because I've only really cop like three things from here. But fashion over men, bro. Now look, I ain't gonna lie, I've seen them. They've been dropping like some better stuff recently. Like they stuff, they've been they've been adding some new shit. But I haven't really been tapped in. I haven't bought from them in like two years. I ain't even gonna hold you. But let me show y'all what I did buy. So I bought these cargo pants, man. These are some black cargo pants, as y'all boys can see, man. Let me show y'all the other ones so y'all can see. But yeah, these are the same exact cargo pants as the black ones, but I got these so y'all can see them better. So they got a bunch of buttons. These are like worker cargos, and you could like they're, they're snap. You feel me? You could unsnap them. You feel me? Open them up however you want, bro. So I'll fuck with these, bro. These are tough, man. And you know what I'm saying? Y'all boys go tap in with Fashion Nova. Let me know what type of heat they got, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I ain't been tapped in with Fashion Nova in a little minute. So let me know what heat they got, y'all boys. But I don't really got too much to talk about, man. I already vented to y'all about my manufacturing situation. Actually, he just texted me. So hold on, let me read this shit. Oh my fucking gosh, bro. This dude is literally just finna piss me off more and more with each thing he says. Cause it's like, as a manufacturer, you're supposed to already know this shit. How didn't you know that the sizing that I sent you was gonna be too big? Like, what the hell? You're supposed to peep that shit, bro. Now he's saying that I have to make the design smaller for it to be cheaper, bro. He's charged, he's gonna charge me $40 per T, bro. Does that not sound crazy to y'all, bro? $40 each shirt, bro? Think about it, bro. Look, let me show y'all, boys. Y'all see these zip-ups right here, bro? Y'all see these zip-ups? This is DTG print on the front, man. It got stones all over. Woven ne ne uh, tags right here. It has a neck label inside. All of this... Damn! That shit cost me $60 fucking dollars, bro. Each. Y'all was complaining about the price. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, $80 is so much. $80 is so much. He was charging me 60 fucking dollars each zip up, bro. Y'all know how much shipping costs for each zip up as well? Eight dollars, bro. Y'all do the math. Guess how much profit I was making if I was selling for 80, bro. If any of y'all are watching this far and y'all are like good with clothing brands and shit, let me know if I'm getting finessed. I mean, I know what I know this shit has a lot, so I can Damn! <laughs> nah, this is some crazy timing of this video, bro. I'm not gonna lie, but this is crazy timing. But I know this zip up has a lot, so I wasn't really tripping by the 60 dollars that I'm paying him for, but it's the fact that this nigga's charging me, trying to charge me $40 per shirt, bro. I'm really vented to y'all right now. $40 per fucking shirt is crazy, bro. That is fucking wild, bro. So it's like, that's why I'm pissed off because I feel like this nigga trying to get over on me, bro. That's fucking wild, bro. Six, $40 per shirt, bro. Bro, I could go to, bro. <laughs> I could go to a wholesale blank shirt spot right now and probably find a shirt for under $12. A blank, blank, heavyweight shirt for under $12. I guarantee. Now, with the DDG brand on top of that, bro, it's not gonna be more than $25, bro. You're trying to charge me $40 fucking dollars, bro? Nah, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't even got enough fucking energy to, to, to end this video properly, bro. Because that, that's, that whole shit just threw me off, bro. And he's just saying a whole lot of fucking nothing, bro. But I hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow me on Instagram, put it on the screen. But that being said, it's your boy Mari, a.k.a. J Flex, and a.k.a. Joe Mari, and I'm out your face. Deuces, bro.